Hi, and welcome to Lesson 6 of the How to Build a Website tutorial series. My name is Melissa, and I'll be your instructor for part of the series. The goal of this tutorial series is to show how you, with basic word processing and desktop publishing skills, can develop, manage, and maintain your own business web presence. In the first part of the lesson, we will download and install the premium theme called Thesis. So we are going to Google Thesis theme, press enter, and here we go. Let's click DIYthemes.com. And there's a bunch of sales stuff here, but we already know we want to purchase it, so we go ahead and click pricing. And we will select the personal option, which is at $87. So then we enter our name here. And then we nominate a login name as well as a password. So you may also use Visa or MasterCard, but I'm using PayPal, so I'll hit the Next Page button. Then we will enter our login information. We have our email address and password. And then I'll go ahead and hit Login. Now here we are at the download page and uh, there is a very nice tutorial here on how to install Thesis for the first time. However, I'm going to go through this material with you myself anyway. So we'll just go back and then we'll go ahead and click the download button. Now that I've finished downloading it, I'm going to open up the folder here. Right click on a downloaded file and select cut. Now we'll go back over to our local file structure, which in my case is in Melissa, my business website, WordPress, and then downloads. And I'm just going to paste it here. Next, I'm going to extract the zip file, so I right-click and select Extract here. And now that's done, let's go ahead and cut that. And go back to WordPress, WP Content, Themes, and paste it right here. So here we go, we have Thesis 182 in this folder. We open it up, and you can see it, it has all of the files that it needs in order to be installed. Now, I want to rename this folder custom-sample to just custom. So we will rename that. Just delete hyphen sample. And the custom folder is where any customization we will be doing will take place. Okay, so now we have all these files set up in our local machine. And now it's time to open up FileZilla. So same process as in the previous sessions. We're going to go to File, select Site Manager, and then we will connect to our site, then go to Themes, and then we will upload Thesis 182. Okay, so now we have Thesis 182 installed to our remote site. So let's go ahead and open up the dashboard then. And I'm already logged in, so I'll just go ahead and click Dashboard right here. Here I am on my dashboard, and just like we activated the themes in the earlier sessions, we are going to do the same thing with Thesis. So we'll scroll down here to Appearance, and then select Themes. And now you can see that the Thesis theme is now here and available to activate. So we'll go ahead and select Activate. And there we go. Thesis 182 is ready to rock. 
we may as well take a look at our site here real quick. So let's just click this link right here and open it in a new tab. And here we are at the default installation of Thesis Theme. We have the navigation bar up here. We have the RSS subscription feed, our title site, tagline, and our default post. So that wraps up the first part of Lesson 6 of the How to Build a Website tutorial series. In the next part of the lesson, we will discuss the benefits of using Thesis versus the free themes that we've looked at, and you will see why this class is based on teaching you how to use a Thesis theme.